Hello and welcome to Leadmaster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove one of your account managers from Leadmaster and also how to replace one of your account managers with another in Leadmaster. And we are going to be working in the main administration menu today, so if you do not have access to the main administration menu, then you will not be able to make these updates. And instead, you should contact your system administrator. Starting out, we're going to go to the main administration menu and go to logon management slash user security on the left hand side. And we're going to go to see our existing user logins. So here I have two for this work group. You should see your accounts listed below. And I am going to deactivate this first user. And the way to do that is that we're going to go to Privileges, and we're going to go down to User Status under User Information, and we're going to label this as Not Active. What this does is that it puts a pause on the account. They will not be able to log into Leadmaster, but if you ever want to reactivate this user again, you simply switch it back to Active which in many cases is much better than just deleting the record. So label them as not active and then click Submit. Now if we go back to the logon list, we will now see next to the name that it is not active under Status. Now that we have a user that is not active, we are going to add our new user to the system. So we are going to make a new logon, and then we need to fill out this information. So first name, I'm going to label this one as new person. Choose the username. The username should be the email address so that it's always the unique value. And then create a temporary password for them. Choose the user type, which in this case will be our account manager. And then next I like to set security. So choose the security that you already have set up for the person. If you need more information on security, we have a separate video showing how to set up security. Now changing the security will change all the settings and privileges below. We do want to proceed. Now you'll see that it shows the workgroup access, all of the searching, administration, privileges are updated below. So we don't have to check anything below the user information box. And now the user status has been updated to active, and it also should show your default label set. So now that we've done that, we can click Submit. And then let's go back to our logon list. And as you can see, I have my new person labeled below. So now we have disabled one of our users and created a new login for one of our new users. So now what we're going to do is make sure that they are showing up correctly in hierarchy and give all of the old accounts to the new person. So let's go to our main administration menu, close up logon management and open company hierarchy which is directly below. So I'm going to go view slash edit account manager and here I'm going to add my account manager right here. Choose the region or group name, put in the title, make sure has logon is yes because you just created your new account manager so this should be labeled as yes. If it's not yes, make sure that you have correctly labeled this in the exact wording as you have on the logon page. You can fill out other information and once you're finished you can click submit. So here we have our new person labeled and as you can see I have my old account labeled right here. 
So now we're going to do a simple search and move all of those accounts over from Kayla to the new person. So let's go to search, scroll down to lead assignment. Under the account manager, we're going to click the magnifying glass and search for all of Kayla's records. Click submit and then search. And now we're going to select the page or you can choose the ones individually. Go to record options, assign records. We're going to choose our new person and you can either assign selected records like we've done below or you can assign all the records in the search results. You can also send an email notification if you would like and you can write comments here. Once you're ready click Submit and now you should see that there are no records for Kayla Buckner but if we search under our new person and click search. My list is now here. The final step is to just delete the old account manager out of the hierarchy list. And this is optional. If you want to keep them in there in case you ever do activate the logon again, you can. But in this case, I will just delete mine out. And so now I have my new account manager list with my new logon and this person is located in hierarchy. So they are all ready to start using Leadmaster. And this concludes the tutorial on how to disable a user and replace that old user with a new one.